It's not true. I did not hit her. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. talking about the greatest movie of all time thank you Peter Pie. anyways yep we're talking about the room it was directed by Tommy Wiseau produced by Tommy Wiseau cat <laughs> listen he's it, they mentioned it so many times do I need I'm gonna have to show you to just to prove it Tommy Wiseau Tommy Wiseau Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau. Hi, babe. Tommy Wiseau. This is uh, my favorite movie. <laughs> Listen, it's got like a low rating on Rotten Tomatoes, like 29, but do you see how many good reviews are right here on the screen? It's just, it's just art. It's just art. This movie is the best movie of all time. I mean, how can a man with that much of a brain make such a perfect video? Make such a perfect movie. I mean, how could you not love this movie? It's got everything. It's got drama, friendship, love, action, and love. And some more love. And even more love. Maybe, maybe too many love scenes, okay? Maybe just a tiny tin bit too many. This movie is so popular, it even got its own video game on Newgrounds. Like, and the game, trust me, it's gold. It's more gold than the movie. This movie is so great, it got its own biopic. If you don't know what a biopic is, it's when like you make a movie based off of like a famous person. Kind of like how Tick Tick Boom is about Jonathan Larson. It's basically that. And um, now, since we've, we're done talking about The Room, we can talk about The Disaster Artist. Okay, okay, no need to panic. Let's try talking about the disaster artist without talking about... Yeah. The disaster artist movie is actually based on a disaster artist book, which I've yet to buy, because I... I'm a very busy person, okay? All right, jeez. I don't have time to read about how the room was made. I can watch it instead. And honestly, as far as accuracy, even though I know nothing about the book, I would say it's... Fairly accurate. I that's the problem with biopic movies. Sometimes they they stretch the truth a bit like Rocket Man, I don't know, but Bohemian Rhapsody those kind of biopic movies. I feel like sometimes they just stretch it a bit I don't know if there's a Kurt Cobain biopic movie, but I think the Gus Van Sant movie The Last Days is a Kurt Cobain biopic I'm not entirely sure but yeah even with biopics they change things up a bit, which is why it's kind of hard making a biopic. It's better if you just make a documentary instead, which um, is the case for, like, let's say, Frank Zappa, which is what Alex Windsor made, or that short documentary about James Bowen and his cat Bob, you know, something like that. But if you do a biopic right, like a street cat named Bob, then you did it. You just, you just absolutely did it. It's gold. It's gold! You can watch Disaster Artist on Netflix, or if you just want to read the book, you can go buy it on Amazon or something. You could also buy The Room for like 10 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> but the book's expensive on Amazon. Uh, I, I think it's like 20 or I don't know. It's it's something along those t time prices thingy, the bobber. So, uh, yeah. That was The Room and The Disaster Artist. The next movie we're reviewing is The Three Wishes of Billy Grier, which is like the Curious Cage of Be Case of Benjamin Button, except this movie is a TV movie, and it came out in like the, the 80s, so, I mean, when you see a contrast like that, it's 
it's it's far away from each other. It's just it's just far. It's pretty 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 far. So yeah, that's also a Ralph Macho movie. And then the movie we're reviewing after that is Can't Be Heaven, which Ralph Macho plays a saxophone. Is there anything Ralph Macho can't do? Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to think about it in the next video.